I didn't start learning a second language till I was 28 years old. I'm 35 now, and I speak Spanish, French, Mandarin, and Arabic. And I speak them all more or less fluently. But look, I'm not some kind of savant. I've simply discovered an effective method that's helped me learn languages quickly. It's free, it's straightforward, and believe it or not, it's enjoyable. And in this video, I want to share it with you. There's an unbelievable amount of bad information out there when it comes to language learning, especially on YouTube. I'm sure you've seen videos with titles like Learn a Language in Three Months, Learn a Language in Two Weeks, Learn a Language While You're on the John. Here's the reality. Those videos are not real. They're clickbait. Full stop. I'm going to speak to you honestly about language learning because in my opinion, false expectations are deadly. So please hear this. Real progress takes time. At a bare minimum, it's probably going to take you at least six months to feel comfortable speaking a new language. And that's if it's relatively close to a language you already know, say, English to Spanish. If it's a more distant language, say, English to Japanese, you should be prepared to spend at least two years studying consistently before you really feel natural expressing yourself in a variety of different situations. And for what it's worth, that's how I define the term fluency. Being able to understand other people and express yourself comfortably and virtually any context. So how do you get to that level? Well, let's dive in. We'll consider the language learning process in three stages, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. If you're new to a language and know little or nothing about it, you're at the beginner stage, and your goal is pretty simple. You want to get a handle on the basics of understanding and speaking simple sentences. That's it. So what qualifies as a simple sentence? Well, that's on you to decide. I'll talk more about specific resources you can use in a moment, but it's important you know that this method doesn't have any specific boxes to check. It's open-ended. Why? Because language is personal. We all express ourselves in different ways and care about different things. Only you know what you need to learn to become fluent. So when something doesn't make sense to you, seek out the answer. The internet is filled with free tutorials for virtually every language on earth. Okay, back to talking about the beginner stage. At the outset, you'll want to use some kind of structured guide that can provide a foundation for you to build on. Maybe that's a textbook with an audio companion, maybe it's a website, maybe it's an educational YouTube series. But stay away from apps like Duolingo. They're too easy and too slow. Whatever resource you choose, make sure that you're listening and speaking a lot. Reading about a language will help you understand how the pieces fit together, but you want to practice actually using that language as soon as possible. Don't worry, you can do this alone for now and you don't need perfect pronunciation. Just do your best. Okay, great. What else? As you're studying, make sure you write down useful vocabulary whenever you come across it, words or even short phrases. But do yourself a favor and type your notes. Don't write them by hand. Why? Well, learning to write by hand is time consuming, and in my opinion, it's not particularly useful. I mean, how often do you write with a pen and paper in your native language? I'm guessing pretty rarely. Learning to type, however, will be very valuable to you when you reach a more advanced level. We'll talk more about that later. So download the appropriate keyboard, install it, and start using Using it. So, to recap, as a beginner, you want to 1. Find a good learning resource, 2. Get a handle on the basics of making sentences, and 3. Type your notes and review them regularly. You should be doing all of that for at least an hour every day. Okay, level 2, intermediate. Once you feel ready, you can begin to incorporate what I call the walking technique into your study routine. It's really the heart of this whole system, and it'll help you improve drastically, no matter what your level. The idea is pretty straightforward. I want you to find high-quality listening material in your target language. You can use a podcast, or you can listen to YouTube videos without looking at the screen. The more natural and conversational, the better. So try to avoid things like audiobooks or news broadcasts. Ideally, you'll be able to find an emergency immersive series that's designed for people who are learning your target language. There are dozens of programs like this for German, Spanish, Mandarin, etc. Once you've found some suitable listening material, here's what I want you to do. Step 1. Every day, put on your headphones and listen to that program or video. And as you do that, I want you to simply walk around outside. You can stroll around your neighborhood or maybe through a park, and you'll listen to your target language as you do that. Step two, as you're listening and walking, I want you to quietly repeat any short phrases that you understand. Don't stop the audio track, just quietly say the phrase and try to match the speaker's pronunciation. Early on, you might only catch 10% of what's being said. That's absolutely fine. You'll understand more with time. Just stick with it and stay relaxed as you walk and listen and speak. If you have any experience with meditation, you may notice that this exercise has some parallels, and that's by design, because staying relaxed while you learn is very important. It helps new information reach your deep memory, and it'll let your mind naturally adapt to hearing and speaking 
a new language. Plus, I find that studying at a desk usually kills my motivation after a few weeks. But with this walking technique, I don't have that problem. I actually enjoy it. And if you're someone who loves learning languages, I think you will too. Now there is a third step to this exercise that you should add when you feel ready. Maybe that's right away, maybe it takes a few months, your call. So as you listen, you're obviously going to hear many, many words and phrases that you don't understand. But some of these words and phrases will start to stick out. You'll hear them more often. And if people are using these words regularly, they're probably pretty useful. So you want to know what they mean. Well, how do you find out? My general recommendation would be to repeat the word or phrase into Google Translate. Now hold on, I know that people hate on Google Translate, they say it doesn't work, it doesn't translate accurately, and look, five years ago I would have agreed. But Google Translate is getting much smarter, you can look up the research on this if you don't believe me, and frankly I'd say it's pretty effective at this point, especially if you're looking up common vocabulary. No, it's not perfect, but at the very least it'll keep a rough record of all your searches, and you can double check the meanings later on with a native speaker. More on that in just a moment. Okay, we've covered the walking technique. Now let's talk about how you can reach a more advanced level where you feel truly fluent. I'll cut right to the chase. You need to talk with people in your target language. But how can you do that as efficiently as possible? Well, the simplest way is to use a website like italki.com and pay a native speaker for an hour of their time over Skype. In my opinion, that's money very well spent. But there are free alternatives if you prefer. You can, for instance, use an app like HelloTalk to set up an unpaid language exchange with another student. And of course, you don't have to use the internet if you're able to practice with a native speaker in person, a friend or a family member or even a paid tutor, you'll likely progress even faster. But this is very important. Once you find a conversation partner who you like, you must avoid using English as much as possible, unless, of course, you're learning English. I know it can feel uncomfortable and even exhausting to make an hour of conversation in an unfamiliar language, but experiencing that kind of challenge will force your mind to improve quickly. It's just like working out at the gym. You need to push yourself if you want to get stronger. And look, there's no need to be afraid of making mistakes. In fact, they're helpful because when someone corrects you, you'll be that much less likely to make the same mistake in the future. So keep experimenting. And if you find yourself using the same phrases or talking about the same topics over and over, try something new. Think of yourself as the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Always test your limits and stay on the lookout for that big breakthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below and let me know how you like to learn languages. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please consider hitting that big red button. It really means a lot. Thanks for watching. See you soon.